So, going back to here is that helping yourself, you will always need to help others in order to help yourself. And to help others, you need to get yourself sorted first. What do you want? Where are you going? Um, what is the current state of your life? Or in terms of personally, your habit, have you cultivated that uh, habit that is uh, uh, available to accept missions, bigger missions or bigger responsibilities that will affect more people? If you haven't cultivated that good habit or good foundation for that, which is as a personal virtues and also a, a world will that are broad and inclusive and at the same time rational and understanding not to extreme, then we can't we can't lead the world to, to the direction that we want. Uh, so it all relies on Dharma and respect among every single layer of relationships, up and down, down and up and down, down and up, left and right as well, like siblings, friends, colleagues. Um, those things are there. Doesn't matter what kind of ideology you have, anarchism or anything. That's old days. It, it, it will always be there. There will always be someone who needs to lead the rest, unless everyone is Bodhisattvas and Buddha. In Pure Land, everyone is student and teacher. They still have a one Buddha leaving, but everyone's like equal. They have true democracy. They don't need to democratize anything because they're all wise people. They don't do stupid stuff like vandalism or creating uh, segregation or racism. They don't. Everyone looks like Amitabha. That is the world that you can talk about equality, guys. But right now, in this reality, in this mud, we need to have orders. And to have orders, we need to have law. But beyond just law, we need to have a proper human relationship to carry out. Because far away, you ching, beyond the law, there's human humanity in there, and love and parents and, and all that bonds that we need to take care of right now uh, before next generation comes up and takes over the realm because it will be miserable for them if we didn't put a good foundation for them. So we need to work on this. So let's continue. Um, no killing. Yep. They often talk about basically what I'm trying to say, vegetarianism trying to reduce a consumption of meat. Uh, there's a lot of people with a lot of reasons. This is a clam they don't have sentience. Uh, this is cow they were born to kill. We don't talk to them like that. We don't need to argue with them. If they argue, just follow what they say and just say, okay, okay, cool. Don't need to argue. Just talk to people who are willing to accept this. If they don't really accept, it's fine. You can't force people. Uh, everyone has their own choice. And we, our job is to tell them like right now, right now I'm doing my job. I'm through this recording and all that. I'm just telling whoever would listen. Vegetarianism is not just about health. I believe that one is too narrow. It's about saving the world. And to save the world, uh, there are many facets. The most important is the heart. Eating a non-meat diet doesn't mean automatically you're a saint, because there are dictators who are vegetarian as well. I'm not going to mention the name, but using that as a method express your commitment to be empathy towards a fellow sentient beings who are also suffering like you do or more than you are like the animal realms they are suffering a lot more than you are they're born to kill and even though you don't eat it someone else wishes to eat it but that someone else will have to be one of the animals in, in next generation i'm talking very bluntly some way or the other even they are not animal in human realms they will have to encounter wars you know why war happening because of killing. You know why wars in Europe happening? Because of all that pigs and cows were killed. You can take my word. I can be very confident that, because I heard from Master Ching Kong and I believe that he don't just say out of his, it's according to Buddha Sutra. And there was also saying, if you don't want to have war in this world, shut down all the butcheries. If you want have no wars in this world, no conflicts, no killing among people in this world, then unless we have no, we no longer everywhere else in the world no longer hear any butchery sound like the sound of the animal wailing. Otherwise, there will be inevitable. There will always be war. This is how war one happened. War two happened. This is how invasion of uh, this country and that country happened, guys. 
it's that serious, guys. It's that serious. And um, this is a bit far, but very important, very close to us. So importance of merit goes beyond just simply having a happy life. Because what is a happy life, right? How can you be happy when everyone else is miserable? How can you be happy when you, your own family is happy, but you have to worry about other people breaking in your house? That's not happy. It's fake. It's, it's called having opium, trying to drug yourself to happiness. That's not. Uh, the real happiness is everyone stable. Yes, they all they will not all be very rich. They will not all be Warren Buffett. They will not all be Bill Gates. It's impossible. But because everyone's karma is different, they create a different karma. But at least everyone cultivate five precepts, ten uh, meritorious deeds. If they have this, which is about ten commandments in Christianity, same thing. Uh, in Islamic as well, they have all that rules that follows. That's the reason why it's there. It's to create a proper stable society where Everyone knows their place and they also, with this level fund, they teach us you don't have to be bounded to one part. You can improve your standings. If you're not aiming for pure land, even in human and heaven realm is good for people who are not going there. You want to be human? You want to be a uh, heavenly realm? Cultivate this. Cultivate these five precepts, ten uh, meritorious deeds. And these deeds are coming from these teachings. Do not killing, uh, do not stealing, do not sexual misconduct. It's very serious, number three. Um, uh, do not lie. Beyond lie, there are slanders, there are lancers, slanders, uh, harsh words, um, lying, big lying, small lying, big lying, I'm a saint, I'm an arahant, I'm Buddha, in terms of actual attainment. No, I'm not. I'm naturally a Buddha, but I'm not attaining that yet. I'm a normal people. So that's a big lie. Small lies, small lies, white lies, and all kind of lies. Sometimes you need to lie in order to save life. That's fine. So I'm, I'm giving you an overview what we're a little bit of annotation. And the fifth one is the no intoxicants. That one is to prevent you to break the four precepts. Those things need to be talked in this section because they are all about trying to get yourself preserved where you are right now instead of falling further. Let's not talk about uh, next life. Talk about right now, your your condition, your, your state of life with COVID and all that digester waiting outside because of the karma we commit. Um, to preserve your life, preserve your property, to preserve your family's life and property, to preserve your friend's life and property. This is the way. Not Second Amendment. That's not enough. <laughs> I'm talking about in that context. But what I'm talking about is those are passive. These are active. These are active because you're creating a society where everyone follows this um, common creed, common humanities, no killing and, and all that. It might sound very simple, but wow, we commit killing in terms of animal or you, we can go even deeper. You commit killing by causing people to be angry. It's also a form of killing. Now, hai zhongsen, it means you cause them to be annoyed you make them um, very annoyed, uh, make them unhappy, uh, unstable. They make their emotions up and down. That's not right. No bodhisattvas causing annoyance to the beings. Every time a person who cultivates the path where they are, they will always cause happiness around them, true happiness. They will even awaken part of the people who are ready around them. That's the kind of person we should be, inspiring, inspiring person. So after all this context, right, just to give you a context of how big this is, how important this is, how crossed different religion creeds it is, no matter what, where you are, you need, if you are human, you need to follow these uh, lessons. Now, how do we preserve all these achievements? Like if you have done that, say you have actually achieved that height, where you truly inside you're real, you're cultivating, outside you're doing goods, and obviously you do not attach to it. You learn not to attach to it. 